Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the 8th of October, the 19th Sunday after Pentecost, and for this Florida man, winter has already come. Why, it's, it's in the 60s for the love of God, and we are still joyfully basking in the celebration on Wednesday of St the Feast of St. Francis, special flowers by himself, and please, again, be welcome, bundle up, and come on inside. And we even have flowers again. On Wednesday, it was glorious to see that Sister Jacoba, who does the artwork for Jesus and us here, was able to be complimented by both the Episcopal and the Lutheran bishop. And please, for you, and for those who you wish remember this day, and for all of those who made Wednesday the Feast of St. Francis such a glorious occasion from beginning to end. And after all of that work, and yes, it was work, how about this reading from Henry Nowen? Prayer is not a way of being busy with God instead of with people. In fact, it unmasks the illusion of busyness, usefulness, and indispensability. It is a way of being empty and useless in the presence of God, and so of proclaiming our basic belief that all is grace and nothing is simply the result of hard work. Indeed, wasting time for God is an act of ministry because it reminds us and our people that God is free to touch anyone regardless of our well-meant efforts. Prayer as an articulate way of being useless in the face of God brings a smile to all that we do and creates humor in the midst of our occupations and preoccupations. Thinking about my own prayer, I realize how easily I can make it into a little seminar with God during which I want to be useful by reading beautiful prayers, thinking profound thoughts, and saying impressive words. I'm obviously still worried about the grade. Indeed, it is a hard discipline to be useless in God's presence and to let him speak in the silence of my heart. But whenever I become a little useless, I know that God is calling me to a new life beyond the boundaries of my usefulness. Amen.